Okay, folks. So, yes, y'all can tell I'm trying something new here a little bit. I've dabbled with it before, but I'm trying something new. But, nonetheless, y'all clicked on this video to talk about this episode here. So, let's go ahead and talk about this episode. It is was an episode that is for sure and according to IMDB it is ranked the worst episode of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic but before we jump into that let's go ahead and play that intro just want to do this quick rap about some cartoons that I watched as a kid hope you guys like it so once upon a time back in the first grade I would sit around and watch the television all day Eyes glued to the screen, no breaks in between Try to name And yes, if I'm going to sit here and remember the worst of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Then I'm going to take y'all along for the ride with me and run my mouth And just remember it together So let's do this and right in the open, we get Rainbow Dash dashing through the halls, trying to get over there to the faculty meeting to find out who is the teacher of the month. Turns out that Fluttershy wins the honor and continuously wins the honor based on the votes from the students. Guess the students believe her to be Best Pony. You know what really strikes me oddest about this scene is we're supposed to have this rivalry between Applejack and Rainbow Dash, but then we get this little snippy comment from Rainbow Dash towards Fluttershy. Oh my, I don't know how I keep winning. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, I get it that Rainbow Dash is upset that she didn't win the Teacher of the Month thing yet again. But she looks at Fluttershy with such disdain, and it just doesn't feel like her. And you know, this problem could have easily been solved by Twilight, with her simply making it where the Teacher of the Month award could simply not be awarded to the same person in a row, two months in a row, but instead we get this conflict of Fluttershy winning it nine months in a row, and yes, I counted. But Fluttershy wins it nine months in a row, creating this conflict between Applejack and Rainbow Dash. And Twilight, what the frick? You couldn't take that book that Spike was holding and just simply put it on the podium that you were standing in front of, but you wanted to go and do the jerk move of making Spike hold that book the whole time as you read through it instead of just simply being nice. And if that wasn't a jerk enough move from her, she then proclaims that the teamwork field trip that is needed for the students is a teacher of the month worthy field trip and she knows good and darn well what she's doing. She pays attention to everything around her. She knows that Applejack and Flippin' Rainbow Dash are trying to go after this teacher of the month. A teamwork field trip. Leading it is a teacher of the month type job. And that little comment right there does nothing but instigate them to for what becomes this whole episode. Okay, let's try to make it another 30 seconds since now we're only a minute and 35 seconds into this episode. And at least Fluttershy gets to be passive aggressive back towards Rainbow Dash and give the suggestion that both her and Applejack go on the field trip together. Uh, no event. Maybe you can lead the field trip together. I saw you there, Flutter. I saw you rolling your eyes, looking at Rainbow Dash with that disdain in your eyes because she was being such a prick to you. I see what you're doing. And we can't get anywhere in this episode without finding something wrong with it. We're only 2 minutes and 20 seconds into this episode and now Twilight, I know she knows what she's doing. I can tell she knows what she's doing because I could see that smug look on her face when she puts them together and says this little tidbit here. I know you've been competitive in the past, but I'm sure you'd never let that get in the way of friendship education. And finally, after two minutes and 37 seconds, we can go 30 seconds without something bad happening because we finally get the intro. 
And this is besides the point, but we then get Twilight explaining what the field trip is even about. Even though I've never had a principal come with me and all the rest of the students and explain to us what the field trip is about and then pass us off to the teachers. But whatever, that's besides the point. We then get a cute moment here from Yona, though. What do you smell? Ugh. Yuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we make it five minutes into the episode, and we get to see Applejack's ulterior motives for this episode. She took these kids over to Sweet Apple Acres to build some apple sheds for her and her family business, and tried to disguise it as nothing more than a friendship lesson about teamwork. I see Applejack. I see what she's doing. She's trying to get some free sheds out of all of this. But then Rainbow Dash ruins her plans because even though Rainbow Dash has, you know, this character development of working with the Wonder Bolts and knowing how to work together with other people as a team, she then just tries to do everything really, really fast to get things done and over with because she finds this part boring and leaves, you know, Applejack and her family with some shabby sheds with like, you know, three walls and no roof and... Yeah, thanks a lot, Rainbow Dash. Now she's going to have to actually pay for these sheds as opposed to getting the free child labor out of it. Just because it's fast don't mean it's good. And please don't say stuff like that in a children's show. So we're about seven minutes in, and these kids are left more confused than ever, and I guess for Rainbow Dash's activity, we're going to go canoeing. And, of course, with Rainbow Dash and her setback in character development, we get her trying to hurry, 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 and of course, without her trying to slow down long enough to actually work as a team and listen to all the questions, even though she said any questions, she then proceeds to say, no time, let's go. She then misses Yona saying how she doesn't like water, she's scared of it, and that she can't swim. And of course, that'll come back into play later. And then of course, we get some stupidity happening with Rainbow Dash and Applejack and their butting heads, and I get butting heads, don't get me wrong. Sometimes it happens, even with the best of us, but for them to then separate into two different groups and then they're having, you know, one side paddle the, the other way than the other side is paddling, it's, oh my gosh, it is just plain stupid. Finally halfway through the episode, and now Rainbow Dash and Applejack can't work together. They're butting heads so freaking much that they end up causing a crash, ending up putting Yona's life at freaking risk. And of course, this is something that could have been prevented if Rainbow Dash would have slowed down long enough to actually listen to Yona, but oh no, go, 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 gotta go fast. Go, 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 no time for this. And then Twilight comes back to check on them, and I feel like she's actually just checking on them to make sure her plan is in motion. That way, she can still continue to have Fluttershy win Teacher of the Month. She set all this up, I feel like. I see you there, Twilight. I see what you're doing, girl. And then when Twilight leaves, that's when Rainbow Dash and Applejack have the bright idea of showing how well they can work together by simply being overly nice together and agreeing with each other on everything, okay? But that's when Twilight says, you know what, I know you two better than that. I'm gonna just go ahead and pick the next activity because I know something's gonna go wrong and my plan's gonna go into motion and Fluttershy's gonna win Teacher of the Month again. So you know what, y'all going on a nature walk and of course, Twilight's plan works, and we get to a point where we gotta make a decision, left or right. One of the two, left or right, it doesn't matter, and then they go back and forth saying, no, you decide, you decide, you decide. And oh my gosh, it's just plain freaking stupid. And of course, as they're walking through the woods and stuff like that, getting lost, we as an audience see that the student six, they don't even need a lesson in teamwork because they work well enough together as it is. But of course, they can't take a lesson from the student six and say, look at them, they could work together, why can't we? No, they gotta sit there and continue to butt heads 
and then try to compete against each other building a bridge across the ravine. So of course with the new ways they're competing against each other, overly agreeing with each other, they then end up somehow getting tangled into each other's bridges and then dangling over top of the ravine, leaving the student six trying to figure out a way to save them from the barracudas that are down below. And I think that the worst part about this episode was the simple fact that at the end of the episode, when they come back to Twilight, they tell her that they learned a lot from Rainbow Dash and Applejack. And what they learned was something genius from them, the way they went about it. They went about it and learned that, oh, we don't need to follow what they're doing. What they're doing is the wrong way. So we should do it the opposite way. And they claimed that to be genius when in fact they learned zero from them too and they were working perfectly fine without any instruction from them. So by the end of the episode, ultimately nobody learned a lesson whatsoever and ended up putting multiple lives in danger. And honestly, this could have all been prevented if Twilight and Fluttershy weren't in cahoots together to win another Teacher of the Month. I see what they're doing. I seen how they were working together at the beginning of the episode to put Rainbow Dash and Applejack together. And then throughout the episode, I seen how Twilight was coming back to check on them and make sure that they weren't doing properly and trying to sabotage them by saying, hey, I get to pick the next one. Y'all are gonna go on a nature walk. I see Fluttershy and Twilight, what they're doing. Heck, even when Twilight figures out that maybe the students are gonna vote for somebody else besides Fluttershy, she then says that she has a whole new idea for another field trip in her head for the next one right away. So I don't even know why those two thought they even had a shot at Teacher of the Month to begin with, considering how rigged it was. But you know what? With all joking aside, this episode, this could have been a good episode and a good lesson for Rainbow Dash and Applejack. And they could have brought it back to them and talking about how, you know what, you think we would have learned better by now. And then they could have even taken it one step beyond and having the episode where Rainbow Dash and Applejack actually learn from the students and they see how well they work together and then they start working together as well with them telling Twilight that, look, really, me and Applejack were terrible at working together. We had to learn from the students and this is what we learned. That's how they could have easily saved the episode, but they chose to go the route they went and we got that as an episode. So it is what it is, but at the end of the day, it was still a wonderful series. So if you enjoyed the series as well, feel free to jump down there to the comment section, leave one of your favorite memories of the show and let's just talk about it down there together and let's talk about this episode. Did you actually enjoy the episode or were you like me and you're like, I gotta make the best of it somehow. So jump down there to the comments, let me know. And if you've been around here long enough, you already know the drill by now from here. Hit the like, tickle to subscribe. Don't be texting and driving. And as Mr. Rogers always says. And I like you as you are. I do.